All right, I'm Malika. I'm here with another assisting video for PDOMS. Um, today we're going to go over the sinus lift setup. Okay, so basically, you want to have a surgical kit, some gauze, irrigation, a blade, a suture on the tray, some anesthetic. Typically, if it's for one tooth, you want to use about two or three carpules. It depends on the, the oral surgeon's preference. Um, obviously, it's an upper tooth because that's where the sinus is located, so you'll use a blue needle. But again, that's the doctor's preference. Make sure you have your sinus instruments, okay? They look like that. One doctor in particular likes to use this black sinus instrument right here. Okay, these are a version of a curette. They're just different angles and different sizes um, to go ahead and do the procedure in whatever way they need to do it, depending on, you know, which side of the mouth that they're on. You want to have the patient drape and a sterile drape. Okay, those are all the things you need on the tray once you open it up. On the side, what we usually do is we keep this on a separate counter or a separate tray because we don't want any cross contamination, okay? But for the video's sake, I've put all of this stuff right on one tray so you can see it. They may or may not use osteotomes for a bilateral um, sinus lift, but I always have them on the tray anyways, just in case. These are typically used for intrasocket sinus lift, which is an indirect sinus lift. To usually just kind of go up into the uh, sinus or the the hole where the tooth was extracted and push up the sinus floor a little bit um, but that's normally used for an indirect sinus lift but when they make a little window on the buccal side of the bone near the sinus that's the direct sinus lift what you're going to do is you're going to have this stuff out so this is some surgical gauze it's a little strip that's on the inside Depending on how long the, the uh, surgeon wants it, you're going to cut a piece off and put it in this bowl and then go ahead and take this tip off and squirt some lidocaine into the bowl, okay? That's used for hemostasis to help stop the bleeding during the sinus lift. And then again, you're going to have another irrigation syringe, another bowl for mixing bone. So little syringes which we've cut off so you can pack the bone inside of these syringes and then here we have some mixed bones so this is a mixture of the regular uh, cancellous bone that we used and bovine this is the only time we're going to use bovine bone we don't use this bone for regular bone grafts we only use it for sinus lifts and we mix it with the regular bone graft material so what I did was I labeled it on the little jar mixed bone, okay? So that's what we're gonna use to pack the sinus, okay? And you also wanna make sure that you have collar tape, some membrane, and then a snap and a scissors, okay? The reason why we have these and usually off to the side, again, is because you're going to, when you give the doctor a piece of membrane, you're going to hold it with a snap on one side, cut a piece off, and allow it to drop onto the tray without, you know, having any cross-contamination. So this is what you need for a sinus lift. 